Hey, 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 welcome to Wish Me Luck Meta Detecting. And in this episode, I'm going to show you my latest finds, including two pieces of silver that I cleaned using my digital ultrasonic cleaning machine. And then I gave them a second treatment using a baking soda paste. The results were amazing. You don't want to miss this episode, okay? So take a look at what I found. So these are my latest finds. Uh, on my way to my truck, I found this beautiful Italian silver chain. It has this ring attached to it. I found this 1943 San Francisco war nickel, silver war nickel, and this old Italian uh, religious metal. Okay. So, um, this ring attached to this beautiful Italian silver chain doesn't look like something valuable, but it is, pos it is possible that it's significant, or it was significant to the person wearing this uh, chain, his necklace. Uh, it has a number eight inside, as you can see. And uh, I don't know what metal is this. All I know is that it's very dirty. And uh, I'm going to remove it from the chain first and then clean it to see what else I can uh, investigate about this ring. All right, so we're going to put this in the digital ultrasonic cleaner for three minutes. And uh, I added uh, a cap of this ultrasonic cleaner solution. Concentrate. All right, so let's see how it goes. But first, let's take a look at how I found the Italian silver chain and pictures of how I found the 1943 S war nickel and also the Christian metal. Okay, so I'm going to let the digital ultrasonic cleaner for three minutes, then let's see how it cleans the pieces. Look at that.
All right, so this is how they came out after three minutes. I can see that this ring is a fashion type of ring, uh, no silver or anything valuable, but uh, probably of significant to the person that lost the chain. Uh, the worn nickel has this horrible stain on it. The ultrasonic cleaner will not remove this stain. I had to use a different method, but you can see there's an S here for San Francisco Mint and then 1943. And finally, uh, the one that cleaned the best was this old uh, copper uh, religious metal. I can see now that is some St. Michael's uh, metal type of metal and on the back it says Italy. This is probably very old. Well, let's see the chain now. Ho, 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 ho. Look at this shiny silver chain. Look at this. It has some patina for being buried for some time, but uh, really shiny. And you can see the details on the links. This is classical of Italian jewelry and look at this the stamp 925 Italy and the designer is GM nice came out really nice So the second step, I prepared this uh, baking soda paste. I call it uh, baking soda sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna try to try to remove this stain from the 1943 war nickel, and then I'm gonna also to shine this necklace a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna find this link that is missing here to make it look really nice so I can wear it with my favorite silver finds there you go so rubbing it a little bit I can see that it's coming off because of the action of the baking soda this is really nice all right See better detail and the stain is little by little vanishing all right so let me keep cleaning it and then i'm gonna show it to you look at this nice and this is how it turned out really nice all right you can see so still there's still some specs that I cannot remove but really clean compared to the way it came out from the depth of the dirt this, this thing was really deep very nice very nice looking Nico Now, let's see how the chain looks like after the treatment of the baking soda sauce. Wish me luck! Okay, sometime immersed in the baking soda sauce, baking soda paste. And let's see how it turns out, okay? Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at this shiny chain look at this whoa 
This baking soda paste or sauce works great on silver. Look at that. Just like new. Ooh. Well, people, this is all for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Wish me luck.